Got an 06 WRX. As you can maybe tell, that's a STI 6D transmission uh, with DC CD uh, four wheel drive controlling. What we're looking at is you can actually see I have a right, at, right side axle in the car and we're looking at the left side axle. Got a measuring tape here. The front lower control arms, the front spindles, front brakes are all still soft. Stop. So from this point to the outer knuckle, we have a 23 inch length. I have the suspension compressed in an upward motion trying to manipulate if the car was sitting on the suspension. So I have a general length of 23 inches. All right, with the six-speed swap, we got these STI factory axles, but we didn't get the front knuckles, lower control arms, and other parts needed to manipulate the outside width of an STI. At, looking at this axle, it's com fully com completely collapsed in. I can go out, but it's all the way in. All the way in, the length is 23, meaning there's no more movement to go in on this axle with yeah. suspension compression. Whereas looking at this second axle, this one's actually not all the way in. That's all the way in, but it wants to pop out. You can see that this axle is much shorter, 22. So with the suspension fully slacked, it has room to pull out and go in under compression. When doing a six speed swap or any kind of axle swap, you really need to pay attention to having movement in the inner knuckle. If you don't have any movement in here, you can bind up an axle and cause issues with the four wheel drive system or whatever kind of driving system you have. If you have any questions, go ahead and email us at sales at